In this video, I want to give a bit of an overview of the different recording options you have available in Aussie Render and in uh, Saucy. Uh, notably, these are only available in the premium version of Aussie Render or in Saucy when you, you pay for it. Um, so the, the main focus of this is going to be this like uh, red recording um, icon at the bottom. If you click this, it will start recording the audio and the video to a file. And uh, when you stop recording, uh, you'll be able to save that. So if I save this, it's just test and then open up uh, that here. You're going to see uh, if I pause this and then open that again, I can play that back um, and everything looks as normal. Bro, um, to configure this a bit more, uh, if I play this again, you can go into these recording settings. Um, and here you can mess around with some of the different quality options. So you could enable lossless video, for example, for ultra high quality. Um, this isn't supported by all media players, but if you got something like VLC and you download that, it should work perfectly fine. Um, the next bits are like the video quality in general. So if I put it all the way at uh, one, it should be very high bit rate. And if I do all the way to zero, it should be very low bit rate. Um, the resolution as well, something you can tr control. So you can put this all the way very high and this will change the, the resolution of this player here as well as the output audio uh, and video, sorry. Um, so I should put that back to default, which is 1024. The next bit is the frame rate. So you can increase this uh, much higher to get a, a better quality and like smoother looking image. So this to 60 is probably the nicest thing. Um, and now you can sort of see the effect of that. Um, you have the option here to record both video and audio. By default on the free version of Aussie Render, you can only record audio. Um, but by paying for the, the premium version or by getting uh, Saucy, you can uh, record video as well. You can also disable the, the audio completely in the output if that's what you prefer. Finally, we have the compression speed. So this doesn't affect the quality of the video in the output, but it does affect how uh, large the file size is when you record and also how long it takes to, to do the render. So if you're struggling and it's um, stuttering a lot when you render, uh, you might want to change this to something like ultra fast. This is going to create a bigger file on your machine, but it might, um, com uh, you know, it might uh, be a qu bit quicker to record. Uh, by default, this is just on fast. Uh, finally, if you're using uh, this with Siphon or Spout, you can put a custom name in here. So you can just put Aussie Render or um, you know my Spout output. Um, and then this is what's going to be used now when you uh, create a new uh, siphon or spout receiver. I'm going to go into this in a bit more detail in another video though. Um, hopefully this gives you a good overview of some of the recording options you have available. Uh, please let me know if there's any more detail that you'd like me to go into in another video. Thanks. Bye.